I'm good. Say goodbye. Good evening, YouTube. This my name is the Ferret, playing on Scarl Process EU. It's been in so far a good match. Last match was quite drawn. Blue are first up onto the point. Team's moving up. Nice use of the quick fix there. Medics moving up their soldiers. No team in so far is taking a decisive advantage on the centre. It's all looking quite equal at the moment. Red are pushing it up. Red are doing pretty well actually, suppressing blue. The blue are actually falling back somewhat. However, here comes the Crockett launcher. Blue may have just fended them off, but I fear that there's only a few remnants of blue. Actually, I think the only person left from blue left in the middle is purple. Cockroach purple. Red team actually now taking the point and moving on, completely forgetting that he exists. Heavy medic combo coming in. Quite dangerous at this range because this is actually good medium to. Uh, low range, which is Heavy's ideal territory. Nice bit of engineering work there from Cast. Takes out the medic. That might have scuppered Red's plan somewhat. Red are coming back in again. Now they've got those medics on tap, Red, at the moment. Now that was a bold strategy there. I mean, running to a door full of blue blue team members as a pyro, I can see the merits of keeping inside, but there's a heavy on the other side. That wasn't going to work. Oh no, sorry, so this is just me. Uh, I'm, I do recordings, put them up to YouTube, I've got a channel. Uh, if you want to mute me, then feel free to go ahead. Red have managed to get back on the defensive. Red are going to start swarming that point. Blue need to do something here. Now, who is that? Mr. TML, I think they have something from Lag Spike there. I like this, it makes me feel like a celebrity. <laughs> okay, so I'm back, back foot for Blue here. Oh, they're going for the point. All for naught though. Red are just everywhere at the moment. I don't nope, think Red have this. And it's been taken. Round two. Now what's all from that last... Who is that spy? That spy is raking in the kills. Fog man. Spies are doing good work. Well, actually what I'm seeing from Red most of all in this game is actually good medic work. They're just generally everywhere and blue moves up and red moves up as a team actually, which were the defining characteristic that's winning on the game. That spy's gotta be putting in some work though. I'm in Again, red are moving up. Nice bit of vanguard work there, getting beyond the point, but red's not actually capping it yet. Unlucky Henk Zebrugger. So, pinned by Heavy there, there's nothing you can really do. Oh, this is looking bad for the medics. Demon Man's found them. You can't seem to kill them though. Oh, simply here gets shotted in the back. That scout's actually proving to be quite an annoyance. Yeah. I think I see from the corner here a taunt kill. That's brilliant work there. Who is this scout? No one was there. Oh, not pity. He didn't last too long, but he was doing good scout work there. Now. That is one of the lost arts of being a distraction scout, simply being around the enemy rear and just annoying them 
and keep him distracted, pin down. Today, too many scouts favour the head-on direct approach of just simply shooting him up front and trying to dodge around them. You can do that against experienced players, that won't work. Red moving this up. Yeah, swine flu coming up. Now I see where swine flu is, I think he's keeping his medic in nine, he's not letting that medic get hit. Also, good work from the medic there, staying behind him. Sometimes medics forget that sometimes, they become battle medics and that doesn't work too well. And it has a red, blue again, put to the back wall. Oh, that sentry's been sapped. Oh, Forkman there with a bit of a premature stab. He was hoping the engineer would move up. Uh, I was looking bad at the moment. There's a pyro in there, killing off everything. Uh, unfortunate Forkman. Misplaced on the stabs there. And I always like to play a smile where you... Were you going for the stabs? Pardon, sorry? In any case, sometimes when you're playing Spy, you want to get the rhythm of stabs going. If you miss a beat on that, it can really impede your game. Who are fighting back here? Actually, they might better get this if they pull themselves together. Now, that was not an ideal move there from Simply Shelley. Uh, I and you see what he's trying to do? He's going for his um. Uh, heavy, heavy target there for healing, but he went in front of another heavy. Now it's times like that where I think one of the most authorised classes to retreat in cases is the medic, simply because those Ubers are too damn valuable to waste or risk. Oh, looks like Okay, that point is open. There's nothing stopping that pyro from sitting on it. He's decided to crits up. Oh dear god, that was pregnant pause. And it's been won. Okay, this is round three. Nice work from Red there. Blue a little more resistant this time. They're getting used to this. In so far, what I've not seen so far is good engineering work. I've not seen many level 3 sentries so far. Takes time. You have to be very quick and know the map to build those things well. Nice Vanguard scout work over there from uh, Nonos again. Nonos doing excellent scoutery here. I think he, he's really bottom from where he can chew there, going for a heavy. I think that was swine flu there. Actually, with the combination of soldiers and him, he is really causing that uh, swine flu there problem. However, Red have got the most of the area and are actually capping that. Uh, don't know where the rest of the blue team's gone. Brave effort there from those uh, soldiers and scouts, but they just couldn't pull it off by themselves. Now, this is what happens if you, you're badly defeated on third point. If you lost most of your team, Red can simply swarm second and take it. Sometimes you have to take a calculated risk and start falling back rather than completely cave. Nice bit of demo work there, actually. Using the arcing motion of that weapon, firing upwards onto the point. Got some. Nice bit of. Who's that? Alarm copter? Nice bit of stabbery there. Now, Red most got clobbered there. Blue may have a chance to regroup. Form a defence and maybe come up with a plan. Red for the moment, we've got to do a long, arduous trick to get to the next point. Yes, in terms of time, I think Blue have been given a boon here. Actually, I'm capping for middle. A bit of a lull in the game at the moment, for what I can see. Not full on action of the first part of the game. Because it's had a bit of a lull where both teams pretty much died, they're still trying to find where the new uh, border, border for this uh, match is. 
I think Blue are insisting they remain in middle point area. Red are pushing of sorts, but they're not too eager from the looks of it. They're mainly taking their time and building up and then moving in. To be fair though, red strategy is working, it's much more coordinated. Whereas blue, as far as I can see, they're a lot more disparate, they're just everywhere. Now here comes red. Here comes red as a team, and this, they're just taking this second to last point straight away. And I'm uh, recording, then uploading to YouTube, so it's not live live as such, but it's live recording. What's going on here at the end here? Looks like some sort of spy antics going on. Engineers seem up to something rather. Now this is where sentries go Sentries gonna be paying themselves here. Now from what I can see, if Blue keep up that nice defensive position on their last point, what they can do is hopefully destroy a wave on wave of red, start grabbing for second, and then start moving out. They've got a nice back area for them to defend, to retreat into. It might be best for them to retreat as a team, rather than try and des heroically grab something. LTDGIGN being a nuisance of a pyro here, doing pretty well. I mean, to be honest, the guy who was going after again didn't even try and shoot him too hard. Our control point is being captured. The control point is being contested. Swine flew there. Nice run to hit pot shots at the sentries. Doing the right thing. Um, there's three sentries there. We are talking sentry land here. Nice sap inch going on. Engineers are confused. Oh, two of them down. Three of them down. And a dispenser down to one sentry left. Engineers completely caught with their trousers down. Oh, there's always an oh wait, there's more. Seems like engineers have been busy. How, ma how many engineers are there? There are only four engineers, but they seem to be cooperating very well. Where well, one of them builds something, the other ones build up with him. Alert. The control point is being captured. Looks like Red's having en I engineer ideas of their own as well, actually. This may come to a very hard boiled match between uh, the second and second and second to last points. Second to last and last point, sorry. Oh, Red Uber. Pity for them. They didn't manage to take down the sentries. Again, it's just down to that one last sentry. Nice stabbage from Dion Blaster. I don't think he emerged alive. Nope, he got killed. That last sentry is down. That point is open. Here comes a Red Heavy. Vanguard Force coming in. And that's taken. Round four. Again, I think engineers proving to be worth in this game. I think engineering on the last point is a bit too defeatist. They need to try and engineer up for a much more forward location. Better move now. Better actually got to the point first, I feel. Definitely so. They, uh, Cam at time six near there. Yep, and they've got that point straight away. There's a nice blue interference there. Blue, nicely moving back. Making sure that the line doesn't cave. Now, what have they got round the back here? Now, here is the problem. I mean, Blue have got... are nicely keeping a line up, but at the same time, they've got nothing to fall back on. They've got no engineering. Red have broken the lines here from the looks of it. 
Red are now moving in. Flying Soldier comes in there, try and take out everything. Ooh, Cockwood Purple there gets a couple of kills in. However, Red's moved up quite coherently now. Here comes an Uber Pyro. This looks like game end. Oh, is that a lag? Oh, did God, bad lag spike. That is unfortunate. However, he's recovered. Almost. Very tense match. Blue are just about holding this. Yeah, it's a lot of blue presence at the moment. They're actually be quite hard to take down if they could keep these mountain guys around. Swine flu keeping that corridor area in his possession. Oh no, it's an uber, uber soldier. That curtain's there. Uh, there's nothing you can say. Or, you know, there's no real way to say you can get out of that. If an uber comes around the corner, you just don't know it's there. That's it. It's curtains. Every has that foul rap strain luck comes up for them sometimes. Their blue pushback coming up. Not sure. Looks blue are firmly on the defence at the moment. Now where's that teleport from? I feel there's teleport shenanigans somewhere. I can't see it. Uh oh, Sappage on the last point again. And that sentry is gone. Hang on, what is this? Oh, <laughs> brilliant engineer work from Red. That's lovely. That's. Oh, oh lovely. Oh dear. Nice stabbage there from Dion Blaster. Now, what Blue failed to capitalise on there was the teleport from Red was on top of their spawn. And I almost thought they had curtains for it, but they just didn't notice it. Okay, there's a new set oh, of matches. This is a scrambled, so, you know, teams are to be different. Hopefully better, you know, more, more aligned. So, okay, teams are now moving on to the point. I think quite consistent and even at the moment. Wow, blue are coming in there with a lot of damage. I don't think I'm not sure what happened to red there. Just didn't seem to really up and going. Blue are sweeping in. Some brave efforts there by Sanari and um, CTC Neko. They're trying their best. They might cause an upset. Good. Oh, here goes the Uber. That could upset things. If properly exploited, that's a brilliant opportunity for Red there. However, they've got to defend that second point. This is a very tense game, actually. It looks from here, Red are having to juggle two priorities here. Capping red and holding their second area, then this is dicey. Nicely for them, they've managed to recap center. Now, from the looks of it, though, blue had to defend their second point. They may not be fully revitalized yet, but blue are coming back in now. Maybe I'll still put back off red. What's this? Wolfheart there with some adventurous engineer work. Blown up, but I, I commend his efforts as an engineer to try and benefit his team. Sometimes just having that one dispenser in a place where everything can get to can make the difference. They'll go back, they'll heat up, get some bullets, and won't be tempted to run all the way back for things.
Blur have taken it back. This is settling into a second and third point match. Nice bit of uh, uh, flamer work there. Oh, Red have cleaned up that area. Now this is looking for a take back. Nah, from the looks of it, Red are moving in there way too strong. Blue have now got to start thinking about making a defence. In so far, I think the shuffle has been pretty good actually. The skills actually come out pretty similar. Teams are now making up defences a bit better, being a bit more aware of what's going on. Well, luckily for scenario, I thought it was clob going to be clobbered there. I mean, he, he had reflected all the fire. Okay, now I'm expecting good things from these guys. As you know, I can't say to the rest of the team, okay, what they're doing. Okay, two heavy medic coming pairs on the point. Red could move in pretty hard here, and there goes an Uber. Red are moving in there pretty hard now. Bravery Scout trying his best. Kel. Going for it. I have to commend that little scout. He really tried to hold the point. However, he's up against natural enemy, the heavy. I wouldn't say natural enemy. Heavy's gonna get overwhelmed by a scout who knows how to aim. That's what I'm saying. I mean, heavies and scouts. You know, the scout can actually win by sheer agility, but the heavy can win by sheer firepower. They're, they're two diametrically opposite methods of fighting. So I'd say they're natural enemies to each other. Swine flu coming on the right there. Nice bit of flank. Oh dear. Heavied and sentried at the same time. That is unfortunate. Are red coming back? Oh, blue coming back, I mean. Oh, oh, marauding, lo lovely work from Frogman there. Finds those me red medics. Yeah, medic heavy combos. Making good work here. Blue on for a comeback. Swine through, be the rig there. I'm thinking he was in too deep. Blue have got that back. That they look good to push on now. That's a brave sentry. Oh no. Wolfheart there. Turn into the sentry. Now that was a perilous location. Um, I think he built it a bit on the fly there. Didn't realise that blue would just suddenly surge out. But the other problem that location was it's a bit long range. Um, nades, soldiers, snipers would ease that sentry out. I mean, this is the problem. This central area is actually not too great unless you know what you're doing. Because actually, sentries here aren't too brilliant. Not very good lanes of fire. A bit short or a bit too long. Oh, what's that going on here? Uber was popped. Cockwood purple, that lovely bit of pyro work there, just bouncing around that, that medic. Oh dear. Heavy's here. Be Swine Swineflute really trying hard here. He's on fire. He's dying. L good effort there. But again, he was the Frogman there playing another Heavy. Heavy's really, for this map, are one of the better classes, I would say. This map has actually got a lot of medium to uh, s small range uh, weapon fire here. And that's Heavy's prime time area. They don't do long range and very short ranges. More the domain of like melee classes or pyros.
Red do some nice backing up work here. They're not actually caving and they're keeping up a presence. They're still threatening third. Oh, Scenario there gets headshot now. That's a, one of, that's a problem location actually in that particular area. That's too much of a sniper nest there for heavy to really come out and do, be it too effective. Swine through, being cautious. Slightly laggy soldier there. Mr. TMM there. I think he managed to get away with that. Wisely, I think he moves back. That was a good move there. There goes there goes Nuba. Oh, Cock of Purple. They're harassing with the um, uh, puff there. Ah, oh, Swine Flu gets taken down. Mr. TMM actually, I would say, holding the line very well for Blue here at the moment. Again, those red medics, medics are proving to be a bane in this game. As always, if you see a medic, try and kill them. They can swing a game by themselves, and people under are often they're not underestimated, but they're not given enough credit. People know they can do wondrous things, but want to play something else. Now, I agree with the kind of philosophy that like the best players in the team shouldn't play medic as such, on the basis that the medic is only as good as the person he's Ubering. If you were a complete idiot who doesn't know what he's doing, that Uber is needed next to, next to wasted. If you were somebody that's really good and knows how to play their class very well, that Uber becomes beautiful. In any case though, ooh, that sentry proving to be a bit of a pickle there. Nice, set, strong blade there, 786. Seven, good sentry location, it might be able to stand the test of bullets. Both teams at the moment are actually playing very well. Uh, they're sticking together, they're keeping fronts up, they're not caving as such. And they're basically getting a very solid match. Oh, Fabius Destiny, I think it was a medic, or somebody was one of the medics there. Tried jumping out the way, eventually got clobbered. Now that's the thing with this map actually, it's a very flankersome map. You've got those three entrances on either side of the main court area. And part of the problem is, um, enemies can come from either of those exits and just simply get around the back of you, just at your line of sight. Swine Blue trying his hand there at Spy. Just about getting away with it. Strong blade. Really trying to now he's trying to hold the area as engineer alone, that's not good. I mean he's trying to I mean I understand what he's trying to do, he's playing engineer the best he can, but the problem is when an engineer is backed into a corner and he becomes you know, it's like having a brake on a car. If you keep using it and you wear down the rubber down to the metal, that's it. That it will not actually serve as a brake anymore. You basically if you have the rest of your team around you with that um with that sentry, that's a great support asset there, but if it's all that's but if it's all that's there's left, it'll go down eventually. You just missed a beautiful moment there. I probably did, unfortunately. I, I ran into a heavy and I was completely undisguised as spy. We just sort of looked at each other and walked away. Oh dear. Nice new sentry there. Wolf, that's a good sentry from Wolfheart there. Nice, it's, a, it's got a nice bit of a deflection there from the left flank. But unfortunately, red, blue are being sneaky here, using the range benefit they have. Just firing out of range. So it's a little unfair, but that's TF2. Here comes the counter but That's declogged that whole gorge area. 
Sceneri though, being consistently good heavy, nice work. He's using the Tomislav. Not one of my personal favourites, but to be fair on a map like this which is quite movable, quite flank and sneaky, he's actually got quite a bit of credit to it. Whereas the more strong point style maps, the ones like Gold Rush and Dust Bowl, where you know everything is, having that element of surprise isn't so handy. Oh, alarm copter, lovely spy work. Takes up the engineer, saps up the sentry. That's done. I think a bit cocky though, I think he should have bailed when he had the chance. Okay, blue on the move up here. They've actually got a large team. They're moving in. Ridder dis desperately trying to shamble up a defence. I say shamble up. They're trying to. There goes an Uber. That could be dangerous. Well, it's not so much dangerous. Unfortunately, it's a pyro, and it was not in the best of places. But blue in force here. This is looking in blue's favour at the moment. They have a. To be honest, though, they're not using that that force to go places. They have a bit more momentum. They might be able to seize that point quicker. Can it all come down to a few seconds in this game? Oh, no, oh, it's a spy cap with a taunt. Nice. Very nice there. 